Hello, my friends. I'm back with another novella review. This is Sean McGuire's newest Wayward Children novella. This is number eight in this series. However, with this one, you really don't have to read any of the previous novellas. Uh, there are very small hints of the previous ones in this as with items and uh, seeing people in the background. But really, this is a, a standalone Wayward Children novella. Uh, this one is called Lost in the Moment and Found. Lost in the Moment and Found. It was published in 2023, and it is my first 2023 read of the year. First novella from 2023 as well. It follows a young girl named Ancy. Ancy is growing up in a uh, house where her father just passed away and her mother just married a new man. Now she has this stepfather that really creeps her out and gives her an unsettling feeling in her body. Uh, we find out that the uh, stepfather is abusive. He gaslights Ancy, the, the little girl, and there is a possibility of grooming and more abuse in the future. So Ancy leaves as soon as that happens. Now she's only eight years old when she leaves. And she finds a door that leads her to a place where there are all these things that are lost. And it is a repository of everything that is lost. There she meets a bird, <laughs> uh, a magpie. The magpie's name is Hudson, and there is an old woman named Netta. And in this place of where uh, things get lost go, the doors open up. So if you've read any of the books in this series, there are magical doors that lead to many different kingdoms, lands, with very specific and unusual people and laws that are abided in these lands. These doors open, and it is now Ancy's job to go and get supplies and to find things to bring in for, for the lost and found of the universe, basically. And it is a story about Ancy dealing with her past trauma, but also trying to figure out the mystery of what is happening where she is currently at with this world of lost things. And is everything being told to her? Because everything seems like it's like working out for her. But when she wakes up and a tooth has fallen out of her mouth, maybe it's not all what seems to be. I really enjoyed this one. I thought this one was a great standalone for this series. I like this series. I didn't think I was going to continue to read these after like book five or so. But, you know, when it comes to series, you just want to keep that momentum going. And honestly, the quality of these have not fallen off quite yet. Uh, I enjoyed this one. I probably would give it around a four star rating. Uh, it is fantastic. And I would recommend it to anyone that maybe only read maybe like the first five or first four. Uh, to read this standalone one because it is an easy read and it is interesting. Uh, what I learned from this is actually a definition, an example of gaslighting that I could actually understand. And that's what helps me read to read fiction. A lot of times when we talk about big concepts, uh, I don't really completely grasp those contexts until I read a story with those concepts in them. That's why I read sometimes very uh, troubling or problematic stories or things that have very heavy themes like this book. So if a really good example of gaslighting and the beginnings of grooming uh, scare you, I would not read this book. But I liked it. It was good. I enjoyed it. So stop by your local library, pick this one up. It is called Lost in the Moment and Found by Seanan McGuire. I'll talk to you all next time. Let me know if you've read this and if you enjoyed it. Also, let me know if there are any novellas that you think I should read in 2023. See ya.